Now then, here we are, sat in a kayak on Derwent Water in the Lake District. And what a place to be. You know, you get all the sort of uh, stress and hassle of trying to sort all your gear out and get yourself to this point. And then all of a sudden, you're here, you're in the kayak, and just peace kicks in. It really does. So yes, the maiden voyage of this beautiful kayak. I've got it all kitted out, camera mounts that I've made, I've got a deck bag and all the gear is set inside and it floats, get that. So yeah, currently just uh, blowing down with the wind and uh, the boys that I'm with have uh, disappeared into the distance. Um, I've got my hobo fishing line, so hopefully we can uh, catch a fish for dinner, which will be nice. Um, and we've done the right thing as well, because uh, Derwent Water, because it's owned by the National Trust, I think, you have to pay for a fishing license for the day, so that's what we've all done. Uh, but one night out into the second night, which is probably going to be on um, Bassenthwaite, so we'll transfer lakes, but yeah, just lovely to be out. Anyway, I'm going to have to go catch the boys up, because they are way over there. Luckily, kayaks are faster than canoes, so I don't have any worries for that. Let's go! Beautiful!
well this is the life floating about and just having nowhere to be and nowhere to go just how I like it what a place though just sat in the middle of the lake district and just being able to just have this freedom I guess freedom Yeah, you need to make me some. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what a place to be. Just so relaxing, it really is. And look, if we just turn around here, we've got cat bells just on my right hand side. Cat bells up there. And that's quite a famous walk, just because it's uh, quite a nice one. They get plenty of decent views from, but it's not too high. But you get to view back down onto all this, so it's just beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, if not some cat bells, nice little walk up there, it's beautiful to do. You need a little raft behind you to go I am thinking about it. <laughs> so how did the first uh, flight go? Looks smooth. That was. Looks awesome, yeah. Really nice. There we go. Look at one with it. I feel that one with it, yeah. And it takes that time just to, yes. you know, to, to nurse her into how you want her to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah the uh, pull out just to wait for. It's uh, the, the yellow one. A nice bit. No, that's, that's the one. I mean, there is only green, This is it. So that's a little Green, green. Oh, let me get my fishing lure in. Nice that, really nice. There we go, we have pulled up at an island just to have a look and see if there's uh, anywhere we can sort of camp up for the night. We've got hammocks and tents and all sorts between us, so we should be okay, regardless of what it is, but let's go up and explore. And straight away, it's just a beautiful place. Wow. Whoa. Don't trip in your daft boat shoes. Jeez, this is just beautiful. What a place. Look at this old tree. That is incredible. <laughs> the boys. It's quite a nice little opening, isn't it? Another massive yew tree. I've got to say again, this is a special place, it really is. I mean, we've got just all these sort of fallen trees everywhere, which are just huge, but I mean, look at this. This is tree number one on earth, I'd say. Absolutely massive, look up there. And just all this gnarled section of wood. I mean, if you just cut that up, oh, the grain in that would just be fantastic. I'm saying it quietly so the tree doesn't hear me. <laughs> well I've got to say this place is just perfect for a chill out and a camp. Just so many sort of trees to hang a hammock from and uh, the only thing is obviously 
it's lighting fires. I mean, there's plenty of, you know, any, anyway, look, there's been quite a lot of fires here before, but there's um, not really that much wood. I think it's been stripped bare, really. So we'll take a, a mooch out and go find some, I think, from uh, the shoreline somewhere. Just a bit of driftwood. Idea is just to use a couple of uh, IKEA bags just to carry your gear, one in each hand, level them out with weight, and just to be organised. Look what I've done. That's my kitchen, shelter, and we'll close in this one. So three main ones there, and one big one here, which has got things in like chairs and I don't know other stuff <laughs> anyway let's get up a tent I reckon here we are then all set up I've got the uh, three FUL Oh, Taij 2 again, which is um, proving to be quite a nice tent, and I'll show you why just because of the space in it. If you just come in here, I've got the usual sort of a uh, setup of uh, extra wide mat or whatever it's called, um, my wrap sleeping bag, seat summit pillow, and then you've got this amount of space next to you to put all your kit. So if you look here, that's all the stuff out of the kayak, and it's just still ample of room. So. And that's not even using the vestibules, so we've still got space here on both sides exactly the same, which is good. And then, let's show you around. We've all got tents tonight. It's Jonathan with, it is a fairly new, well country Trizar 2. Love it. Which, um, to be fair, do not look a bad tent because it's got uh, three poles, so I'm pretty sure that'll be quite solid in some heavy winds. This one here, the old Voyager. Now that is an old beast, is that? Still going strong. It's pretty much the same shape as this one. But um, yeah, that, I think it's 30 odd years old, that one. And here we've got another Wild Country Koshi 2, which again, actually looks kind of cool tent. Just come into this one, just sort of see. Um, it's got like uh, enough up the sides here just to so stop snow coming in and everything but obviously a little bit of mesh as well to let some air flow but that ain't a bad tent either and then one of my favorites i've got to say we have Fell raven abisco light 2 in green and that just looks <laughs> it looks awesome there doesn't it mine is blue stands out a little bit but Looks cool. Anyway, this is camp, all set up. Uh, we're going to use an existing fire here uh, just because we don't want to sort of scar any more or burn any roots of these trees. Um, and there we go. Time really to get back out again for another paddle. And I'm going to go catch a fish with my hobo fishing line. Well, the boys are just sat chilling there taking all this in which is just fantastic and I've got back in the boat and I am going to catch us a massive fish for us all to eat tonight <laughs> I'll show you what I'm going to do it on this is my little hobo fishing real thing that I've got so this is what I made which is a piece of antler and if you can see it's perfectly shaped to uh, have a, a round section to 
wind onto. So I hold it in one hand like that and it's just nice and easy. Wind it up. And the good thing about this one is I've uh, got a couple of little notches which I can just clip the th line through there. And there's a couple of little holes in here as well where I can actually put the hook so it's just out of the way when I'm storing it. But it works pretty well, he says, and it's catch fish now. I've uh, also hollowed this out here, which just means I can put in a couple of hooks and bait in there. And what I'm gonna do is just, just cut a piece of rubber or a wooden wedge just to sort of uh, hold that in. A cork would be ideal, but there won't be a cork that big unless I can find a chunk of cork somewhere. But anyway, there we go. The hobo fishing reel. I've put a lanyard on it as well, just so you can put it in your hand because a fish will soon whip it out of your hand. Anyway, I'll put it back and I'm going to troll. Troll along. Troll, troll, troll. Luckily, we've got camp set up because it's just starting to rain now. But when you're in a boat, you never really feel the water coming from above because it's normally splashing up from beneath. It's lovely though, it really is just so calming. It's just nice to be back out on the water, it really is. It's been a while, it really has. I've just paddled uh, a few times over the last few years, but not many. So this is a treat, it really is. Well, it's raining a little bit, so we've just set a tarp up um, just near this uh, fire pit and we're all sort of sorting some sort of dinner out. We have got chicken, what's that, some ration pack? Chicken and potatoes. Ration pack. I had sausage casserole, which was very nice actually. Sausage casserole. And, and vanilla cake. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and what's old Davy boy had? Meatballs and garlic bread. Meatballs and garlic bread, there we go. So it's my turn now, I've not eaten yet. So I think I've got um, a ration pack as well, which is out of date, it's from 2020. But I'm gonna have uh, this Thai style chicken soup. But just to add to it, some chicken noodles as well. So that's dinner, let's get on with it. <laughs> You're looking cool on camera, guys. <laughs> 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 Campsite song. 
brown girl in the regular city. Yeah. <laughs> She and she looks like, like a sugar in a plum. Bum bum. <laughs> Brown girl in the rain. Well, we are fed and watered and just having a mosey round this lovely island. And there's uh, lots of really nice spots actually, just to sort of sit and chill out. And you can see why a lot of people do come here and end up sort of camping out and what have you, just because it's just got a nice feeling about it. And it's a place where you're sort of isolated away from everyone else. And obviously for us as well, we're gonna sort of light a fire but not yet, we'll just sort of wait a while uh, because we just want to sort of keep as stealth as possible with this because currently no one knows we're here and there's no one else here so let's just keep it that way but I can see why in summer this place does get quite busy because I mean just look, you've got mountains just all the way around here everywhere beautiful just beautiful. Yep. It is so nice to be out with the boys and just doing something a little different. A different mode of transport to get me into that tent. <laughs> and that being a kayak. Just fantastic, it really is. It's not looking uh, too bright though, is it? All this, you can just see all these gloomy clouds forming. We've had a bit of rain, but we are expecting more. Anyway, I want to get back to camp. Maybe crack open a beer. Happy days. joys of camping. We're huddled together like penguins. We've got a tiny fire going. This is awesomely lit by fire <laughs> Look at this. Well, just a bit of colour in the sky, so we're just going to have a quick wander down to the water's edge. Oh, wow. Uh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at that. Yeah. the shadow. The shadow of that hill on the, on, the, on the... Yep, look at that. Amazing. The pictures don't do it justice at all, do they? They really don't. Jeez. We need to get one. Just come to another point. Look at that. What a fantastic place to be. That's what 
what a fantastic moment. <sighs> Cheers guys. Beautiful. Well, that has been a pleasure. Sat by a fire, chilling out with the boys, chatting all adventure and kit, and just uh, appreciating being here, really. Very nice, with a beer. Can't beat it, really. Yeah, it's been good today, just being able to sort of test out some new kit, being a kayak. Just making sure that everything works and obviously like I always say to people just test your stuff out in your garden first so do something simple where you can sort of just make sure that it works properly so being here on Derwent Water is just a nice sort of simple place just to test out the gear and make sure that it works okay before I adventure to more extreme places we'll leave it at that <laughs> ah yeah anyway it has been a pleasure. So, time to get sleep after some biblical rain and a beautiful sunset. And uh, we'll see thee in the morning. <sighs> Let's rest this vlog. Morning flowers. Well, I've just been laid here for probably an hour listening to the morning chorus. There's an abundance of birds here for definite. And uh, I've got to say, it is very dry. <laughs> I was, after being so wet last night, this tent has just completely dried out. To say it's only sort of half seven in the morning, which is good. Nice to pack things away when they're dry. <laughs> anyway, it's time to get up, make a cup of tea, have some breakfast. Might be able to get some bacon, get on the go. It's windy, the top of this canopy as well, up here is just moving a hell of a lot really. So that's just going to make it a little bit more awkward on the water, but now we can't handle. Peaceful, it's just nice. quick wander down and just let's see what the water has to offer oh sunshine it's actually pretty dark inside there why heck it's windy look at that yeah there's a fair amount of wind coming across here I feel the heat of the sun though it's so nice Start reflecting off this water as well. <laughs> They'll struggle in the canoes more than I will in the kayak. Just because they're higher off the water, so it's more of a sail just to be pushed by the wind. Can't wait to get back on the water though.
there we go we're all packed up ready to go just the last sort of a scan around just make sure we've not left any trace whatsoever and uh it's been a pleasure being out here and this sunshine just pouring through these trees now is just lovely but i've got to say we have to um just point out that on a lot of these trees there are a lot of axe marks scarring which is just completely unnecessary i mean look at this up here you know we've got a tree here that's probably 200 years old or more and it's just been hacked at for no reason whatsoever you know it's just killing the trees that are here i mean there's uh, quite a lot of yew trees that are growing that are fairly sort of uh, young i would say but they've just been hacked off for, again for no reason there's just no point whatsoever i mean green wood does not burn so there's no point doing it so you know for everyone out there just you know make sure that you're not damaging what is here you know we've got an, an ancient woodland pretty much here that's been untouched it's never been chopped down and um it's growing in proper natural way so just let it do it let it do that rather than just destroying it so make sure anyway trips down to the canoes just to get our stuff packed away and then we'll be back on the water what do you say jonathan eh I'd say we are ready to go unfortunately we have to leave this beautiful island but it's been a fantastic evening hasn't it and it just so yeah a beautiful morning yep so. even with the rain yeah exactly yep just nice to get out and you know we've spent a, a couple of weeks sort of getting this sort of planned in you know it's just setting that day to making sure that you actually stick to it and when you've got some friends doing it with you you can't back out so you make sure that you uh, you get out and enjoy it so there you go right let's go I'm at a disadvantage because one can keep paddling for you, whereas I have to stop to do my uh, fishing stuff. Wind to try and get through it all, but anyways, 
just about made it back to where we need to get to and then we're going to uh, get in the car and uh, journey on to the next one for another night yeah, there's one that I've been out here but to be fair, this is just nice and calm water really I'm hoping I can get on and do some more exciting water and uh, feel some more beautiful places even more beautiful ones than what this is but I mean, look Stunning all the way around, I mean, all this up here, just mountains and mountains. Fantastic place to come, and I'd uh, definitely advise it on a very flat day just to hire a kayak and get out or a canoe and just uh, have a paddle around somewhere like Derwent Water. It's nice, it really is. Ah, yes. Anyway, I better go catch these guys up. just pulled in a minute quick rest these guys just had to bail out a bit, little bit of water and uh, just gonna chuck in some lures try to get a couple of fish and I've got my little hobo one again which uh, hopefully I'll just have a chance of catching something might as well try yeah he's not he's not getting back on now Uh-oh. Well, duty calls. We've got a paddler boarder out here and he can't get back on his paddle board, so I'm gonna paddle out and save him. Right, time to get on again. Let's move. Well, we're off again for another venture out on the same lake. We were going to transfer to um, Bassanthwaite, but looking at the logistics of it, it's a little bit of an awkward one to do, um, just because we've got three vans and it's trying to park 
all of us at the same time and it's just not worth risking so we've got parking here so we're just going to continue so we've got the boys just uh, heading off down there it is nice it is just nice very therapeutic i would say just sat on the water bobbing about Yes, the lucky man currently, very lucky. Well, I've just pulled up on another island in this glorious sunshine now, look at this. So yeah, this nice little peninsula that just sort of sits out here. I'm just gonna have a quick look in here and see what, what it's like. nice 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 oh look it's not too bad heart's done not good enough though my brain is just tuned in to finding them oh it's a cool island it's very rocky though <laughs> not a place you could pitch a tent And also I've just seen there's a nesting bird down there. I won't disturb it but it's just sort of sat down there. So yeah, not a place we want to be coming to camp for the evening if there's nesting birds around. Nice space though, look at this. nice here again look at this idiots just hacking away at a tree for completely no reason it will just eventually kill these trees i mean this one's loads of carvings in but still got lots of marks on it <laughs> no don't just don't Peaceful. It really is peaceful. <laughs> yeah, just having a look, and there's herons and all sorts of flying about. Pterodactyls. Two albatross. And we've seen two dodos just bobbing about in there as well <laughs> yeah nature will always tell you when you're not welcome you can hear the chorus there of the geese in the background just calling out to each other to sort of warn that there's a potential predator here and that's me I'm not a predator Yeah, not a place to come when there's a uh, nesting birds and all that. So yeah, get myself back off here and not disturb the wildlife.
Well, that was a bit of a gnarly crossing. We've sort of circumnavigated the whole of this lake again, and uh, we've come back to the same spot to camp again. Purely because uh, everywhere else is just a bit more untouched, um, which means there's quite a lot of birds around and things like that. And we just don't want to be sort of uh, messing about with that. So knowing that it's uh, safe here, we are going to set up camp again. And I think it's going to rain later on exactly the same as it did last night. So tents up, make sure that we're uh, all sorted and uh, we'll set a tarp up as well prior to the rain. Well, quick afternoon snack. If you've not had these before, you need to try them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Chicken noodles. And all I'm doing is just boiling the water up on a little bush box, whatever it's called. Chicken noodles. Mm. These are absolutely gorgeous. Can I come and grab a wrap, Andy? So we've set up camp and we're cooking dinner. We've all got uh, our own little meals to make. I don't know what I'm having tonight. I think I've got some pasta in some way. But we've all pitched our tents in exactly the same position that we did last night, all the way around. And we have sourced some wood, which is good, so at least we've got a fire and we're all just sort of chilling out. end of another lovely day on the lake it has been um, uneventful really we've just sort of been chilling out we've sort of clocked up about five miles I think just uh, potting about in the canoes and um, it's been a little testing for the guys in the actual canoes because uh, the water was quite choppy out there uh, so I was just sort of like on standby just in case there was any sort of issue and I could uh, rescue if needed but um oh and i also rescued a guy today who was really struggling he was not going to get back on his uh, uh paddle board and uh, was just floating and he'd have been floating for a good hour or so so yeah just helping him out just made a difference he was very thankful and uh, we saw him again later on in the car park and um he thanked me again for that and his wife told him off for being late <laughs> which is kind of funny ah <sighs> anyway it has been nice just uh, chilling out under that tarp by the fire and just uh, chatting a load of lad rubbish as usual. But it is time now to lay this lug and tomorrow we'll bring hopefully some better weather because it's been persisting it down for the last couple of hours. Anyway, we will see thee in the morning. Take care. Morning flowers, look at this, just beautiful sunshine pouring down, bouncing off this lake, just the heat off it is just, oh it's wonderful, and just not a breath of wind and it's just flat, absolutely flat. So yeah it'd be a pleasure to get out there today just to have a nice calm paddle. Yep, lovely. And this is something most people can do. They can get out and just have a, a paddle on a lake like this where there's lots of places you can hire things. Especially on days like today where it's just 
calm. It's uh, a lot safer when it's like this. Anyway, for us, we're going to get packed up and then uh, get ourselves out there, I think. Nice and leisurely. Alright, let's get on, eh? Well, as always, leave no trace and it is time to get back in these canoes. Just uh, walk our way down to get our kit put away. And then off we go. On to the next place, wherever that might be. Which is probably gonna be home, sadly. Anyway, it's a nice uh, time when you're at home just to plan the next one. And that is uh, half of the excitement, I would say, just planning and packing. I always enjoy that. Here we are then, to the water's edge, and back to this lovely kayak. All right, I'll see you out there. And off we go again. Oh, that feeling every time, I love it. Glorious day, eh? This is what it's about, eh? So we get across to the far side. the end of another fantastic adventure this time in the kayak just testing it out for the first time and I've got to say it is just spot on absolutely spot on for what I need so yeah this is fairly calm water but um, it just uh, has all the storage I need for fitting in my camping gear which is one of the main things and it feels good so yeah my little beauty kayak um, I've not named her yet, if you can think of any cool names to call her then uh, that would be good. Definitely a her as well. Um, and yeah, if you want any sort of uh, kayaking gear whatsoever or canoeing gear, please uh, just uh, take a look at uh, Northeast Kayaks. Uh, they're an awesome company for definite and this is where I bought my stuff from. And just a nice place to go, you feel relaxed when you're there, you know the people are really helpful and you don't feel like you're pressured to buy anything or anything like that. And they are doing what's best for you and that's the main thing so yeah give them a, a shout um, but if you've enjoyed this video and uh, you want to sort of uh, see how far and how testing I can take this kayak then uh, please subscribe and um, yeah join me for the next adventure there is a buy me a coffee link and the patreon set up as well like that so if you're interested in anything uh, to contribute towards the channel that would be fantastic anyway from the beautiful Lake District on Lake Derwent, Derwent Water, you know, cat bells in the background, it's just a stunning place to be and uh, you know if you fancy sort of getting out and having a go, uh, there are places here that you can actually hire canoes and kayaks, so uh, yeah, get out and just enjoy this beautiful world that we have, so anyway, take care of yourselves, see you another time.